Okay, good morning. We are on a new project here over here in um, Gregory Seahurst. We have the trailer with us today. We're going to do a big tear out. Let's go in and take a look around. So this was a little carpeted area. I already got the carpet out of here. We started busting up these tiles. Charles is over here very carefully removing this molding so we can put it back down again. So we're taking all this tile out. It's going to be hardwood all the way through this dining area, into this little living room area, into this big entry. And then we're going to be mating it up to this hardwood in the entry hall and into the eating nook and kitchen. We have a little bit of subfloor that's cleaned good enough for us to install a wood floor on. Charles is going to finish up all this. I'm going to start my blend over here. Okay, so I have this little prep where the angle was. I'm gonna I cut that angle out. I have it feathered in. I'm gonna start my first boards. Get a straight row going here. Good morning. We are back over here in Gregory Seahurst. We have this floor all prepped and we are underway with the install. Let's take a look around. So there's that subfloor all cleaned. You can see that glue it was an absolute nightmare to get off. We have vents going in, three vents. I'm gonna do a nice frame at that fireplace. I gotta go get the wood. We actually have the wood. I gotta mill it down. And the entryway here is well underway. You can see where we did the blend into the old floor. And we're gonna come out into this living room. Okay, this is a gas fireplace. They took the, we took the tile out of in front of it and we're gonna picture frame this with two strips of red oak and we're gonna put a piece of jutoba as a feature strip. So I have my first pieces cut. I'm gonna glue and nail those down. Liquid nails for the wood to nail it down, to glue it down to the subfloor. First thing I did was draw all my lines so I know exactly what I want. yellow glue in the miter. Okay, I got that where I want it. I will take, put a, a square on this to make sure I'm nice and square. That is a nice square corner right there. I'll nail it. Okay, let's do the same over here. Okay, I'm gonna go mill my feature. Okay, the customer 
toes in, this nice piece of tip over here for their feet. I'm gonna make a one inch, a one inch border, which is a little better than a normal feature strip. And we're just doing this all on site here. Okay, on these I will just glue that tongue and groove together. More than enough, it doesn't really need nails. So I did have to put a route, I did have to route that tongue and groove in this side. And I'll show you that. There we have a nice feature strip. Now I'll do another piece of red oak around that and we'll be ready to install. So this is set up to make the groove on a tongue and groove setup. I have it set up to where it fits right in there just like that. That's how we make our own feature strip, like that. Okay, now for the final piece of oak. Right off of that same miter, both sides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that miter just a hair. <laughs> no. That's gonna complete our border. So I'm gonna glue these pieces down and then fit the other side. Lose our tongue and groove on this. We use. I'll glue this to the board behind it. The miter. That's a pretty good miter. There it is. Now I'm going to nail it. Up.
Okay, now I'm gonna find some boards and I'm gonna fill that field with red oak. Usually that would get filled with tile, but this one we're doing it with oak. Forgot to film the last piece. So these columns here are actually getting built out into big square columns. They're getting rid of all this old stuff from the 80s. So there's that entry, that fireplace. Where is that fireplace all installed? Okay, so Charles has his line come down this wall. We had to take a piece out at that door. Replacing that, it didn't quite line up. We've got the install going on very nicely. Fireplace ready. Have this thing pulled up by tomorrow. start fitting into this header you can see I have about a quarter of an inch gap right there so my first step is going to be to find my angle and this may change a little bit as we go through this so I will find this angle just like that okay I will set this saw exactly at that angle and hopefully I won't have to change this okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna router this board I'm gonna route that end right there so it fits into my header Okay, so if you look coming off of this miter right here, right there, if I put this in, it's gonna go past that. So I'm gonna put this in where it goes and mark that. I'm gonna snub this one off, and when I fit the one going in the back way, I'm gonna snub that off too so they come together right at that miter. All right, the miter is all cut. So I'm gonna glue that together. Let's just see how the first one fits in there. That's gonna be pretty nice. That's a nice.
Okay, time for this corner piece or capstone, whatever you want to call it. So what I will do is mark the center of my miter, which I've already done. I will get my bevel going that direction. About like that. Okay, let's see how this little piece is going to fit in here. Bam! Like that. A little filler. Or as we used to say in the boatyard, a little putty, little paint. Let you see what it ain't. Gregory Seahurst on this big tile tear out floor we did. We have the new floor all installed. Let's just take a look around. So you can see we have a nice big wide open area now. We have the vents all pulled up nice and tight to the sliding glass door. We have this beautiful little hearth that we're going to be sanding and finishing this morning. You're really going to see that pop. Then we come into the entryway here. And Charles is gonna start sanding this little blend first thing in the morning where we're blending the new wood into the existing wood. We're gonna chase the grain right there a little bit. And I am gonna start prepping this floor in here. We are not refinishing all this area. We are just screening it, doing a screen and recoat. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna work on this morning. And there's that vent that I retrofit yesterday. I'm just gonna, I got it nice enough where I can just tape around it and I'm just gonna finish that vent without sanding into the original floor. Okay, Charles just got done edging this whole entryway out. It's ready for buff now. I'll scrape the corner. He blended the new wood into the existing wood there, and you saw me chase the grain a little, so that will blend in a little better. So we know that this floor is gonna be lighter than that floor. The only way to make it match perfectly is to refinish all the floors. In this part of the house, I'm getting ready to mop the floor with some TSP mainly around this kitchen area here to get all the grease off the floor. Then we'll do a screen and a recoat.
getting the hydro ready here. I'm gonna hydro this baby. Do our final 120 grit, clean it, put our first coat. Gregory Seahurst. The first coat went down yesterday. Charles stayed and did that. This is only about 400 feet, so he could handle that himself no problem. Let's just turn the camera on. Look at this first coat. So look at that. So nice. It's gonna look great. There's the blend. You can see where it changes colors a little bit going into that kitchen area. Not bad. When the doorway goes in, you won't see that very bad. Come around to this nice little fireplace. That pops really well. But I really like this little blend right here. This is where the blend goes into the hallway. And you can see where the new boards are more red than the boards in there. We're not doing a complete refinish. All right, we're gonna get to screening this out. Put a couple more coats down. Okay, we're getting ready to clean up so I took the bottom grill off of the off of the uh, refrigerator there and just just look at this this lint and dust that's all caked on there the thing can't breathe it makes them work very inefficiently so since we're here we're gonna take this outside and I'll hose it off with the hose and clean it up
final coat is going down. Once he gets started, I'll start cutting in also. Good morning. We are back over here in Gregory Seahurst. We're gonna do the final on this little job. All the finished coats are done. What we're gonna do is put the molding back in today, hang the door back up, put the vents in the holes, turn off the lights and we should be done over here. So let's get, get going on that. Those beautiful wood shaped vents. Look at that fireplace, nice. And this is the one that got retrofit into the old floor. So that's pretty good. Remember I cut the bottom of it so it fit flush? Not bad. Numero uno. That's why you take them off. Nice and neatly so you can put them back in. Nice and neatly. Put that molding back in. Never ever been just one out. It's a good idea though. Okay, the final walkthrough on this project in Gregory. Let's just take a look around. So you saw where we blended the two floors together right here. There's the old floor and you can see the little discoloration. They would match perfectly if we refinished all that, but we just did a recoat on that. So this is all new. There's the vent in the entryway. The molding is all back up, that nice molding. We walk through here. The little key for the gas back in and working properly. That beautiful border we did and hearth around the fireplace, which is a piece of jatoba, and it's already starting to darken up a little bit. Look at that, so nice on that fireplace. Come along here, molding all in, got the vents all in. So this is where we had that carpet and we tore all that tile out of there and you can see how nice this is now and how much continuity this, this room has now. What a nice space it is compared to being all broken up with carpet, tile, and hardwood. One flooring. We have the door back up and working properly. We work our way into the kitchen here where we just blended the floor right there and recoated this. We did not refinish it. We recoated this area and it still looks great. So yeah, there's the dining room and there's that retrofit vent. We did not sand around that. We just kind of fit it in there and finished it in place and, and that looks good. And you come down this entry hallway, all recoated and nice and back to the floor where we blended it together. Okay, this is gonna conclude this video. Um, I hope you saw something you liked. Maybe you learned something. If you did, hit that subscribe button. We could always use your support, and thanks for watching.